Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Jackie and I love teaching business owners how they can create their own incredible brand and graphics. And today we're looking at cover photos and I'm going to be honest with you, I flip and hate them. Cover photos are the bane of my existence as a graphic designer. Facebook has made it so, so tricky to do this right. Um, and I'm going to tip step you through the best ways I know to solve the little annoying problems that they have. But please note, this tutorial is filmed in August 2023 and pretty much every single time I look at Facebook covers, they have changed. Um, and so this is relevant as of now, but if it's different by the time that you're doing this, sorry, I hope you can make it work for whatever you're doing. So pretty much, Facebook covers, the biggest difficult part of them is they appear very differently on a website, on like your computer, on your desktop, than they do on your mobile and probably different again on an iPad or something different altogether. Um, and so we need to make sure that our graphics look really good in both of these places. So I'm going to step you through how I personally do that. But before we do that, I want you to think about the purpose of your cover photo. So a cover photo is that design that appears at the very top of a page when someone first finds your page on Facebook. So when you have a Facebook page as a business owner, not your personal personal cover photo. That's usually a little bit different, but probably quite similar at the moment. Um, but that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about a Facebook page business cover photo. And that cover photo is, is a really great place to, for us to give a very amazing first impression of our business. So in this cover photo, you could just literally choose to have a photo by itself, which I definitely don't not recommend. I definitely don't recommend. I definitely don't not recommend. I think having a photo plainly without doing the design side of things that we're going to show you is totally fine, um, especially because of the way Facebook crops on them versus mobile and desktop. Um, and so having a photo could be really great if you have a really nice brand photo, like say if you're a restaurant or if you're like a product maker or you're like you're a physio or something, having a, a photo of you performing your service or your location can be really great. It could just stop there and be all done. But if you're a business owner like me, where I'm more of a serviced online-based business, it's kind of hard to have photos that kind of really encapsulate what you do. So it's almost better to think, how can I share my message or share a really important offering that I've got right now through my cover photo? So you could have a cover photo that shares potentially um, maybe a bit your tagline or what you do at a glance so that when someone first comes across your page, they start to get a bit of an idea of what you do, what you're about, how, you can be, how they can be helped by you. And so you're kind of just setting the stage of what your business is for that first glance, that first interaction, because a lot oftentimes people coming to your Facebook page will be the first time they're actually coming to see you. Um, the other, other thing you could do with it is just share a current offering that you have. This is one that I like to do a lot because it means that it's constantly being updated. And so you could share if you've got a, a course open or if you've got um, a program open or if you've got a particular sale on a certain offering open. And so you could share that on your cover photo as well. Um, but that usually ends up being a little bit more designed because you're trying to share more of a message. And so the first thing I want you to do is actually just think through what do I want to share? What do I want the first impression when someone comes to my Facebook page to be? Do I just want them to kind of build a bit of an atmosphere? Do I just want a photo of like my location? Or do I want to share with them a product or a service? Or do I want to share with them a sale? Or do I want to just let them know who I serve? You could say, we're here for business owners who love creating their own graphics or um, helping business owners create their own graphics or um, a bit of a tagline or something like that to kind of give a bit of an overview of what you're about and who you serve. Um, but for me, as I said, I kind of love doing it like a bit of a promo for a particular offering or something that I've kind of got long term. So I've just changed it today from being for, I have, I have a free quiz called your brand style quiz. And I've had that up for about a year now, I think. Um, and so that, that's been up there and that's been really great. That's generated a little bit of traction for my business. But other than that, kind of just thinking through what's a product or service I could offer as well. So once you've decided that, the main thing I have you have to remember when you're doing this is to keep it simple and also to think about your display picture. So on Facebook, there's two main images on your main page. There's your display picture and there's your cover photo. Don't do the exact same thing on your cover photo as your display picture. There's no point. You've got two areas of real estate. Use them both differently. So for me, for example, I have a picture of myself inside my Facebook display picture for my business. So it's got a picture of me. So I could probably get away with not having a picture of me on my actual cover photo because I'm already there on the display picture. Same goes for if you have your logo as your display picture, you don't need to worry about putting your logo on your actual cover photo because that's already in your display picture. So that's, there's no need to double up there. So just making sure that you're thinking through what are the two different purposes here. Um, and so let's go through now and show you why I hate cover photos. Um, and that for the main reason is this idea of the difference between them. So what you'll see on my screen now is the full cover image. And if you go to my Facebook here, you can kind of see the full image here. It's kind of cropped a little bit at the top and bottom, but that's totally okay. I designed accordingly. Um, and it's quite long. It's quite wide. My little face here, it doesn't really intrude on the photo much. And it's all good, all happy times. But if I show you, oh man, I'm, I'm getting mad already. If I show you the, the mobile version of this, you can see that my giant head here is cutting off most of the image. 
it's literally half of the image is being taken away by this picture here. So when you're designing this, you need to be so, so careful of what is getting covered and not. When I purposely designed this, I made sure that all of the text was not inside this circle. And so thinking that stuff through will be really, really helpful as you're doing this. And I've got a template for you to use. It's got lines to show you where each of these parts are. So let us dive in now. So let's open this up. Um, so I'm actually gonna add in another line here that's gonna pop in around here, which is gonna show you where the circle goes. So pretty much if I just grab a little circle here to actually show you this even more so, I'll leave this on, on the template for you as well. This circle here is pretty much going to be where the circle is going to interrupt your whole design. It's actually probably more uh, about, about there. I'm gonna move that ruler up to smidgen. Um, yeah, around there or so. Um, and so that's kind of where your design needs to not be used like it needs to be okay that it gets covered up but still look okay when the design is when, when there's when it's not there because it still is usually most of the full page when it's on your desktop it's a whole thing you can see why i'm frustrated but as designers as business owners we're always problem solving and so that's what we need to do here so when you're designing your cover photo you can open up this template um it'll just come more like this with the circle on it for you so that you don't have to see all my stuff in here but for now i want to show you what i've done why i've done what i've done um so firstly if you aren't already make sure you go to view settings file view settings and turn on show rules and guides this is going to come up with all of those purple lines you see intersecting over my design now that can appear quite busy so when I take it away it feels a lot more calmer these design these rulers aren't on your final design it's just for you to know where things are going to go on the graphics you can make sure you keep all the important information inside these rulers so if I just turn that back on you can also do it by pressing shift r you can see that I don't want to put anything outside of these two lines at the top and bottom because that's where my desktop is going to crop the image but I also want to bring things to be across to these edges here because that's where mobile is going to crop this image. And I also want to make sure I don't put anything super important here because that's where the mobile um, display picture is going to crop the image. So I think you've got to consider all of these different things. Um, and so pretty much just cuts halfway through the design. So if you want to put any text on your design, like what I've done here, I really recommend putting the, that text on the right hand half of the design. It's much more normal to cut off someone's head. Like if I put my head down here and it just was totally cut off by this circle, that's kind of okay. You're still getting the main crux of the design and especially because this picture is actually, in my display picture is actually my photo, then it matters even less so. But, it, but usually I design my photos. I actually had to totally redesign this in my mind. Usually I design my cover photos to have the image of me on the right hand side. So I usually have an image of me over here and then I usually have the text over on this side. And that would have meant the entire design was covered, or the entirety of the text was covered by this circle. So think this stuff through very carefully and be able to design something really amazing. So let's just start from scratch and do a fun different one for the sake of it. So I'm just gonna add in maybe some, oh, actually I'm gonna see what Canva offers me as a Facebook template. So I'm just gonna search Facebook cover, actually it comes up here. And you can see that most of these covers haven't actually considered anything of what I'm talking about, probably because Facebook changes it up so much. So make sure when you do this, you actually test it first or you upload it quickly, you check it on both your mobile and your desktop. And if it's not okay, delete it and re-edit what was wrong. But you can see if I was to use say um what's an example of a bad one even if I was to use this one here the edges of the text is actually going to be cut off by desktop the top of his head would be cut off um here would be okay in terms of where the, the display picture was going but other than that it's not really winning for me so make sure when you're choosing templates you're using your own discretion and working out is this going to work or not so what you could do though, I'm actually just gonna take one of these templates and design it so it actually fits what the needs of the thing are. So let's use this one here, for example. This is a great example of a cover photo. It's kind of giving just a really rough overview of the business, um, just so that when someone first comes to their page, it's setting the tone. Like the branding here is setting the tone for the business. The text here is introducing the, the instructor um, and it's kind of showing you what she does. It's not just saying, um, it, if, if this text wasn't here, you wouldn't know who Rochelle is, but because we've got this text here, we've got a bit more information. So what I'm going to do is edit this to make sure it suits the Facebook cover dimensions, which to be honest, it's already doing a really great job. If I'm just to grab this in and pop it in here, you'll see that she's still there. It's not the end of the world that she's covered up and most of the text is here, but it's not totally. So I'm just going to move all of this across here, maybe bring it up here a little bit, make it a smidgen bigger. And now that's going to be so totally readable and visible on mobile and desktop. I'm also going to grab this and make it a bit bigger. The text I've got in mind is okay, but it's not quite readable on mobile. So if you can have less text on there, that will suit better. So I'm just going to make this one a little bit bigger. So it's a little bit even clearer. Although I'm not really sure why you would have your own handle here. I would probably use this real estate to say like feel energized and excited about movement, something like that. That's actually kind of more telling the story rather than kind of wasting space, sharing other information that's not really that relevant. 
I'm just going to um, make this into some normal text so it's not fighting for attention from the, from the aerobic instructor text. In fact, I don't actually like this font combination at all, but I am going to leave it because that's not what this tutorial is about. Um, and you kind of see that text here. I'm just going to make this maybe even a little bit bigger. Here we go. And other than that, this cover photo is actually fine. We've got her head isn't getting cut off by this top line here because that would mean it would be cut off at the top here. You can see I purposely put my head where it is. So it's a little bit cut off, but it's not so cut off. It feels awkward. Um, and it, she's also not having her face covered up by this circle down here. So that's kind of how we do a cover photo. I could talk on this for so, so long. You give so many nuances around the design side of things, which I do do inside my course. But for now, I just wanted to make sure that you knew about the sizing and the shape that you need to really make sure you're working towards. Because if, if I had to put, say if I redesign this badly, Let's do that. The worst option I could do for this would be to put this text under here so it's not visible at all. Pop her there, which is totally okay to have her there, but it just means that there is no text, no context to this design because it's all covered by this. Um, so that would be what we kind of want to avoid there. So think that through as you're designing your own photo. Grab this template from inside the show notes, um, inside the description, and work it out for yourself. So just making sure you're thinking through. There's a bit of a summary. Making sure that it looks good on mobile and on desktop. And also making sure that you're thinking about the content. What is that first impression you want to leave someone when they come to your page? Is that setting the scene for what you're about, what you do and who you serve? Or is it offering a particular offer like I'm doing of promoting this challenge here? So thank you for joining me for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know if you've used a template. Feel free to comment below saying, Jackie, I've used this template and then link your Facebook page. I would love to see it um, and cheer you on from doing that. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, just hit the subscribe button, the like button. If you do have any specific tutorial requests, just let me know in the comments and I would love to help you out. All right, see ya.